in the Animal Care Department at the Humane Society of the Treasure Coast. Um, this is Heidi. Uh, she is our trainer here. Um, she does all of HSTC's um, classes. She does Puppy Star, Basic Obedience, Advanced Obedience, Pet Therapy, Trick Class, Nose Works. I know I'm forgetting some. Too many. <laughs> she also works with our dogs here to do enrichment and training. Um, today we are going to talk about shrimp. <laughs> this is my dog. Um, she is adopted from the Humane Society here. Um, shrimp was born in a foster home, my foster home. Um, her mom showed up uh, at the Humane Society night drop boxes. Someone found her as a stray and she was heavily pregnant. So after waiting her stray period um, and no one coming to look for her, I took her home and a couple days later she had nine babies. <laughs> Shrimp was one of her babies. Um, Shrimp was the runt. That's why her name is Shrimp. Um, up until about a month old, she was half the size as her siblings. Um, so she got extra feedings um, and just a little bit extra mommy time. Um, and as you can see, she turned into a big old 75 pound dog. <laughs> so she's just fine. It worked out great. It was important to us for uh, to get Shrimp uh, well socialized. We knew she was gonna be a big dog wanted her to be a good ambassador for her breed. Um, so from very early on, we got shrimp into Heidi's classes. I think we got in a little early at two and a half months. <laughs> and we got her into puppy classes and she loved them. And we did puppy class after puppy class and moved into basic obedience. Um, she loved class, she loves Heidi. But she was um, exhibiting some fearful behaviors during adolescence. Uh, she was scared of new objects, bags, boxes, <laughs> terrified of children. Um, she would run behind me and cower <laughs> when any of those things were presented to her. Um, because of this, uh, Heidi recommended that she start agility, puppy agility, um, to try to gain some confidence. And that has been just a game changer for us. Um, we've been doing agility with her for about two and a half years now, and she has grown into a confident, well-balanced dog, and I couldn't be more proud of her. Uh, we're gonna show you some of the agility work that she's been doing. She's had a little time off due to quarantine, <laughs> but we're gonna get back into the swing of things soon, and we're gonna show you some of the agility work that she's been doing. shrimp's breed. Um, because she's a rescue dog from a shelter, like all of my dogs, uh, we don't know exactly what breed she is. Um, I, in this particular situation, I knew what her mom was, but I had no idea who daddy was. So we did a fun thing and we got her DNA tested. Um, I've done it with most of my dogs and it's just a, a really fun little thing. Um, so we found out that shrimp is 87.5% American Staffordshire Terrier. Um, and 12.5% a mix of things like hound and guard dog groups that we don't really, they can't tell because she doesn't have enough in, in her. Um, American Staffordshire Terrier is a common dog breed that falls under the umbrella term of pit bull. Um, so a lot of times when people use the term pit bull, um, they're referring to American Staffordshire Terriers, um, Staffordshire Bull Terriers, American Pit Bull Terriers, or even sometimes American Bulldogs. Um, I'm sure there's others um, that fall under those terms. Pit bull type dogs are really common dogs to see in shelters across the U.S. Um, you're pretty much guaranteed if you walk into a U.S. animal shelter and look through the dogs, you're going to find pit bull type dogs and dogs labeled as pit bulls. Um, these dogs tend to get a bad rap, um, but more and more um, they are being seen for the animals that they are. They can make wonderful companion dogs. Um, they're being used more and more for pet therapy, uh, service animals, search and rescue dogs. Um, some police departments are starting to use them as drug sniffing dogs. Um, they have such an eagerness to please their owners. They're really attached 
um, to their people, generally. And, uh, <laughs> and they have a willingness to learn new things. So she absolutely loves to be trained, as do most of the dogs here at the shelter. The reason that these kind of dogs make such great working dogs um, is they are eager to please. <laughs> Uh, they love to work, they love having a job, and they love learning new things. Um, hey. It is uh, a common misconception that these kind of dogs um, can't live with other dogs or cats. Um, and while that may be the case for individuals, because every dog is an individual, um, that's not the case in the whole breed. Um, so there's plenty of pit bulls that make wonderful dog companions and cat companions. Um, Shrimp here has helped me socialize semi-feral puppies, um, and she's also helped me socialize countless orphaned kittens. <laughs> it's important to know uh, the activity level of the animal that you are picking out to bring home um, for adoption. <laughs> so. Um, if you have a young pit bull, it's gonna be great for an active household and someone who is willing to do a little bit of work and a little bit of training and a lot of exercise. Um, yes. <laughs> um, but don't let um, the term pit bull scare you away from what can be a really wonderful dog. Mm -hmm. huh. into puppy classes or your adult into basic obedience and then uh, continue on into doing agility here, um, just contact HSTC and we'll have that website on there so you can look at when our classes are going to start again, hopefully soon. <laughs> Thank you so much for tuning in.